This is the answer to the hydrogen fuel cell question. Meet the Nidium, a brand new model in Hyundai's lineup. And this, like I said, is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, something that we do not see every day and most people aren't exactly looking for. So why is it here at the LA Auto Show? Well, it is a concept vehicle and we can't exactly go inside, but I think the design is quite polarizing and you guys are gonna wanna see this. So let's take a closer look. For our LED light bar right up at the front, of course it's off right now, but we do have four distinct cubic motifs there. And if you've been watching the Kia Hyundai channel for a while, you already know that's going to symbolize our H for Hyundai. We also have the same thing on our front hood, which is pretty traditional. That's where the traditional elements stop though, because everything on this vehicle is bold and different. If we take a look at our lower skid plates and just front bumper garnish, you'll notice it has almost of a plastic-esque recycled material feel. We don't see a lot of tech on this concept vehicle yet, but you can imagine this vehicle to be packed with everything that we offer. Things like full 360 cameras, parking sensors, you name it. It also has a little bit of an XRT look to it. And by that, I mean, we got some pretty beefed up looking wheels and a lot of cladding around the body. So let's take a closer look. These wheels are unlike anything we've seen in Hyundai's lineup as of yet. I have the anticipation that they're gonna be a more aero blade style, so to minimize that air resistance and get some better airflow, because at the end of the day, a hydrogen fuel cell is still an electric vehicle. We got some regular tires, non-branded here, and lots of cladding, like I mentioned earlier. The side profile of this vehicle looks very Hyundai. It's similar to the Santa Fe. It looks mean, it's rugged, and it still has a retro yet futuristic look. You'll notice the door handles are flush with the body, again, aiding in the aerodynamics. And the weirdest part to me are these mirrors. Check them out. Super slim. I can anticipate them to be a camera style mirror, which will definitely take some getting used to. And it looks like we got a lot of gloss black paneling around the vehicle as well too, making our way with our window pillars. Now over here, Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, we have done a podcast episode on it where we talked all about them. Now, this is going to solve the answer to quick refueling. You're not going to have to wait hours or even minutes for some people's patience with this vehicle. It's going to be very similar to the fill-up times of gas. Now, are we going to be able to find a lot of hydrogen fuel cell stations? That's an answer for a later question. Or that's a question for a later date. Now, Charlotte with some more news. Man, I just can't get enough of this rear end. And I know what you're thinking, Charlotte. How did Hyundai know that I missed the Pontiac Aztec? Hold my drink. It's here. It's back. It's the Pontiac Aztec. No, just kidding. This is the same concept vehicle that Hyundai has unveiled. This is just going to be the rear end design with it. We're seeing a lot more of that square and that H motif stretching all the way along the rear. And look how big this rear windscreen is. It's huge. Up top, you can see that we're going to continue with a little bit more of those robust elements, very much beefed up, especially in our roof rails with integrated lights. And I really like how this all comes together, giving it very much that off-road and aggressive presence that I think a vehicle in this segment deserves. We'll show the side. You'll notice that we have two charge ports, one of which is featured here, and then more aggressive styling when it comes to our wheel wells. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, when is this going to be hitting stores? What would be the price tag? And what about the range? And the answer to all of those questions, I say, I don't know. This is a concept car, and we're at the LA Auto Show. But if you want to know what's going on, make sure that you subscribe to the Kia Hyundai channel so we can keep you updated on everything in regards to this vehicle, release time, dates, pricing, range, and pretty much everything they let us know. So hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.